All right, in this video, we are going to be looking at how to pin a website and to manage channel notifications. All the documents that have been sent out to teachers can be found on NLPS Learns, our district website. So we're going to pin a website into one of our channels so that it's making this website easier to access and we can communicate uh, more efficiently the things that are being shared on that website. So the first thing that I've done is I've created a new channel inside of the team, and this is District Pro D and Communications. And to create or pin uh, a website, I'm gonna go up to here, and I'm actually gonna create what's called a tab. And I click on the plus sign, and I have lots of different options of things that I can pin at the top of a channel. But in this case, I'm just going to click on website. And I'm going to rename this as NLPS Learns. And now I'm going to paste my link here. So for the page that I want to bring everybody to is going to be this one. So I'm just going to copy this. And on this page, what you're going to see is that we have the blog and this is where a lot of these the the information that we're sharing is going to go just little tidbits and other places that we can access is this continuity of learning page that we've created as well so a lot of our documents that we've created will be found there so I'm going to go back to teams and I'm going to paste the link I just copied and I'm also going to click this box here which is post to the channel about this tab So now what we're going to find is that because we've uh, created this tab at the top for this website, it's actually going to load the website right inside of Microsoft Teams. And when we are putting this in here or any information, any new tabs, new things that are being created at the top bar, uh, this is where that notification goes into the posts for that channel. And so maybe you do go to NLPS Learns and you find uh, a some information or an opportunity for some Microsoft Teams training, and you want to share that with the rest of your staff. You can just create in my District Pro DN Communications channel, I can create a, a post and tell everybody that there is something that's going on. And if you're not receiving the notifications or you don't aren't aware of that, you can just go and check it out underneath channel notifications right here underneath the ellipses. And we're going to change our notifications so that in this case, I'm just going to change it to banner and feed. And uh, I don't have to necessarily put all replies, but I could include all replies. And if it's getting too much and people are uh, having too many little conversations on the posts, then you can come back and turn that off at a later point. So now once I've created this uh, tab inside of District Pro D and Communications, we're going to find that it doesn't show up underneath my other channels. So this is specifically for that one channel. So this is just another way that we can utilize Microsoft Teams and uh, help us collaborate and communicate with each other.